In this video, we'll be exploring whether you can use natural seawater from the UK coast in your tropical reef aquariums. Thousands of people swear by this, saying that their tanks have never been as healthy. However, most aquarium hobbyists will not use the seawater and will instead purchase artificial salt water to stay on the safe side. This video aims to get to the bottom of this and bust the myth once and for all. The UK seas are home to an amazing range of wildlife, such as dolphins, whales, sharks and seals, but are also used to support important industries. Without the sea, oil extraction and international trade would be virtually non-existent in the UK. However, the use of the sea by these industries, and of course sewage outlets into the sea, are exposing these waters to more pollutants. When collecting the water for this myth-busting documentary, the sea was noticeably a murky brown colour, which didn't look great at all. After 30 minutes the water was still brown, and still brown for hours after that. This led to first impressions of the water being particularly dirty, and filled with excrement. Miraculously, overnight, the water was completely cleared up. The only thing not quite right was a thin layer of sediment at the bottom of the water, which was not just sand. However, this is just sediment from the seabed, which will contain a number of bottom of the food chain microorganisms, which will eat the waste in your tank and support life within your reef system. We'll be busting this myth by testing natural seawater and artificial salt water for nitrite, nitrate ammonia, salinity and pH. The reason why we're testing for pH is because it is a measure of whether something is acidic or alkaline. For a water environment to support life it must be neutral but in a reef tank we want to be more alkaline. The reason why we're testing for ammonia nitrite and nitrate is because unclean water has decaying org organic matter in it and this is ammonia. This is then converted to nitrite and then nitrate by beneficial bacteria. If the seawater is unclean like we think it is, it will have a reading of nitrite, nitrate or ammonia. We'll now go ahead and test the natural seawater. Now for the pH test. We're using the salifer test for this. So we take some water out of the natural sea water bottle, we're going to pour it into a beaker and then we're going to add a few drops of this pH buffer and then give it a little swill and then we need to compare the colour to the colour chart. So on comparison, it appears the pH is 7.7. .7. Now for the ammonia test. If there's any reading of ammonia in water, it usually means that it's very toxic and poisonous to the fish that live in it. Just need to swill this test around in the bottle and then now compare it to the chart. In comparison with the chart, it appears that there's no ammonia in the natural seawater. Now we're going to do the all-in-one test, which tests for nitrite, nitrate and ammonia. It's so going to take the strip again, put it into the bottle filled with natural seawater, and then wait 30 seconds and then compare it with this chart. So, in comparison with the chart, there's actually no reading for nitrate and nitrate, which is the top two squares. They're completely white. And ammonia wasn't prevalent. So, on the face of it, it appears that this natural seawater is quite clean. Now for the salinity test. It's important for the salt measures to be right. So we're going to take a vial of this and squirt a few drops onto this salinity measurer and then I'm going to show you what it looks like through the lens. So we've got a reading here of about 1.028, which is quite high compared to what reef tanks usually need, but we'll cover that later. So now we're going to test the artificial salt water. Thank you. 
So we've got a reading here of 7.7, .7, which is the same as the natural seawater. Now for the all-in-one test. Again, this will test for nitrite and nitrate. We actually had a reading here of zero for nitrite and zero for nitrate, so exactly the same as natural seawater. Time for the salinity test. So the salinity reads 1.019, which is a lot less than the natural seawater, but is also less than what a reef tank actually requires. Natural seawater had the same pH level of 7.7 .7 as the artificial salt water. The salinity level, however, was rather high at 1.028. However, the artificial salt water had a low salinity level of 1.019. The nitrate, nitrite and ammonia levels were zero, which is perfect for a reef tank. This has shown that natural seawater is more than clean enough to be introduced into a reef tank. The only thing that would need to be changed is the salinity levels. This can be achieved by diluting down the water with reverse osmosis water. The first benefit in using natural seawater for your reef tank is that it contains a multitude of beneficial bacteria and microscopic organisms that consume nitrate, nitrite and ammonia. This will reduce the chance of livestock being poisoned by these components and also will prevent algae growing because they actually use nitrate to fertilise themselves. Secondly, natural seawater is beneficial because the pH levels are actually more stable with ocean salt water than they are with artificial salt water. This is because the seawater contains a number of chemicals such as bicarbonate, calcium, carbonate, borate and hydroxide, all of which act as natural buffers that stop the drop in pH to acidic conditions. So if you incorporate salt water, natural salt water rather than artificial salt water, you're more likely to maintain a pH of above 7.7 .7 than you are if you were to use artificial salt water. Thirdly, natural seawater is considered a soup of nutrients and other microorganisms that the fish and corals can feed on. There are also microscopic ketocarotenoids, such as astaxanthin, floating around inside natural seawater, which wouldn't be in artificial salt water. These ketocarotenoids can be absorbed by the fish and will help them display a beautiful array of colours. So if you do change to natural seawater, you will notice that your fish become a lot more colourful. Natural seawater can be collected with a high powered pump which is available on our online shop in the description of this video. It works by sucking the water when submerged and when you attach a length of hose to this it can be delivered straight from the sea into a water container. This is a great pump and can be easily wired to a portable electrical source. We recommend using a car battery as shown in the following video. Thank you for watching and enjoy the fresh and clean water that the UK coasts have to offer.